everybody again on Simply for the YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your great feedback and your great comments. Let's continue the HACCP training. In this video, we'll continue the seven principles of uh, HACCP. In the previous videos, we have uh, understood the PRPs and this video will continue conducting the hazard analysis uh, for the uh, processes. The processes hazard risk assessment. Uh, the same risk assessment control measures for all the numbers, but the processes are differentiated as they follow. From 1 to 4 low risk and from 5 to 10 medium risk, the risk assessment table, so it will control the prerequisite program. But if it is high risk, this process, we must have the decision tree to identify if it is OPRP, the operational prerequisite program, or we, or we can define it as specific prerequisite programs, or uh, define it as CCP as critical control point. So in this video, we'll, we'll understand how we can differentiate uh, between the OPRP and CCP by the decision tree. Okay, let's take a small example like the uh, taxi and the police. Uh, the, the taxi are the process and the hazard is a thief in the taxi and the police are the control by this uh, for this hazard so uh, there is a town as you can find and there is a roads there is two police stations police uh, station number one and police station inspection uh, number uh, two so we'll start if the hazard want to continue from uh, this point to the town so there will be a control to identify the hazard, there is uh, uh, four questions, number one, number two, number three, and number four. Please prepare yourself with a pen and a paper and uh, focus in this uh, video. The first question will be what? Do control measures exist at this step for the identified hazard and control at this step are necessary for, for food safety? So the control, the first step or the core of the first question, are this step are necessary for food safety? Okay, if the answer of this question is no, so it will be OPRP because there is it's not necessary for food safety. But if it is yes, as this point are necessary for food safety, so we will ask the second question. This is our decision tree. The first question, as I have mentioned, uh, that this step are necessary for food safety. If the answer is no, it's not necessary for food safety, so it will be OPRP. And if it is yes, so I will ask the question number two. The core of question number two, does this step eliminate or reduce the likely occurrence of a hazard to an acceptable level? Because we are asking if it is yes from the previous uh, question, uh, if it is yes, uh, decreasing the hazard to an acceptable level, or uh, sorry, decreasing the uh, hazard, the step number one, but the question number two, that is step eliminate or reduce the likely occurrence of a hazard to an acceptable level. If the answer is yes, it reduced to an acceptable level this step, so it will be a CCP, because if it is not re reducing and there is a risk, so it will pass through the road and goes to the town at this example and all the hazard in the product will be to the customer if it is no there is no any uh, reducing the likely occurrence of the hazard to an acceptable level so we'll ask question number three so if the answer of the first question is yes we'll ask the second question does this step eliminate or reduce the likely occurrence of hazard to an acceptable level if the answer is yes so it's a CCP and if it is no, so we'll ask the question number three. The question number three, uh, could contamination with identified hazards occur in excess to uh, acceptable levels or could this increase to unacceptable levels? The core of this question, question number three, that this identified hazard shall increase to an acceptable level, if it's not increasing, so there is no any risk, so it will be OPRP. But if it is increasing, so we'll ask the last question, which will be, as I've mentioned, if it's no OPRP, and if it is yes, the most important question are the last question, are this step, uh, there is another or additional subsequent step eliminating the identified hazard or reduce the likely occurrence to an acceptable level? If there is 
yes there is a step another step so this step will be OPRB but if there's no another step to eliminate the likelihood of the hazard to an acceptable level if the result of this question is no so it will be a CCP so the conclusion of our decision tree would be as follow we are having four questions the first question of the core if the, this step are necessary for food safety if the answer is no it will be OPRB so, so it's not necessary but if it is yes we'll ask the second question are it reducing the hazard to an acceptable level if the answer is yes so it will be CCP so it, this it will be critical control point to uh, reducing the occurrence of the hazard to an acceptable level and if the result of the question number two is no so we'll ask question number three which uh, the core of this question that the hazards increase to an acceptable levels if the hazard is not increasing so it will be OPRB and the hazard is increasing so we'll ask the last question that if there is any additional or subsequent step for reducing the hazard to an acceptable level if the answer is yes so it will be OPRB and there is no any another step so it will be very critical at this point so it will be the CCP so these are the decision tree all the steps are in sequence as I have mentioned in the previous video that the PRPs are very different from the OPRPs and the CCPs so by this decision tree you can differentiate the step of production or the step of this uh, product you are producing or it is a, a CCP or OPRP so prepare yourself by making a table to identify all our hazards uh, in the processes by uh, making 13 by multiply by 6 table and wait for us for, to the next video thank you very much and good luck for all of you everybody again on simply for the youtube channel thank you very much for your great feedback and your 